bank holiday Monday, the missus is at work, it's crappy weather, might as well do go to work. Right, we're here to change this radiator, as you can see on the top, it's worn away where people have been hanging their washing and stuff like that. Right, this one, shower. I've never done one of these before. We have basically worked out what's what. Grab some bits and a coffee. Right, first of all, thank you all so much for, we finally hit 5,000 subscribers. I say finally, it's come round so fast. Honestly, I set the channel up 1st of January this year, five months later, literally to the day, and I hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you to every single one who subscribed, liked, commented, well, probably don't, not all the comments, but you know what I mean? Everyone who's, um, supporting the channel from sort of day one and even just started supporting it now I'm getting a lot of people messaging saying just found this channel they're commenting just found this channel you know it's great love the fact it's proper genuine real life plumbing um and that's exactly the, the sort of the way I wanted to go when I set the channel up so thank you all for that bank holiday Monday the missus is at work it's crappy weather might as well do go to work do some bits so I'm just going to, because everywhere else is shut, I'm just going to screw fix now to pick up um, a radiator, 600 weight, 100 double panel radiator and valves, and get that swapped out on a job down in Warwick. So it just saves me time in the week. So I'll go and pick that up now and uh, get that swapped over. Right, sorted. Rad picked up, valve picked up. It's handy screw fix. Just been in St. Jamie. It's dead handy. They're open bank holiday Monday. I'll just come and grab them. I need to clean the van out as well. It's a right mess. Right, we're here to change this radiator, as you can see on the top. It's worn away where people have been hanging their washing and stuff like that. Um, so we'll just get this one out, dry, shut the valves off, drain it down, take it out. Got the new one, exactly the same size, 600 tall by. 800 wide double convector um, and we'll just get this one replaced right so we've got sent these um, right we've got sent these plum thumbs um, to be honest I've never used them I've always just Chuck my thumb over the end. Never been an issue, but I'll try these out. See what all the uh, see what all the hype's about, I suppose. So I assume I just tap John. I'm guessing you don't need to completely drain the rads down. Okay, so especially working on my own all the time, it's I suppose it'd be quite handy. So literally all I've done is shut the valves off and cracked them open. Obviously it's still full of water because I haven't opened the vent and let it drain down. So take one off at a time. So it's uh, got the grab, like the, the vacuum on it. Connect that one, connect that one. So in theory, I can just lift it up, take it straight out of the door. Straight out, not a problem. Okay, real world plumbing. Seem to work. Open the vent up. Let it drain down. Right, as you can see, these brackets, the existing brackets are a lot smaller than the, the new ones. So we're gonna whip these off, hang the rad, um, and hopefully it'll all marry up. We can get it all in 
without uh, any issues. And you go. Give it a vent. So there we go. Job done. Quick change of a rod. Looks loads better now. Have a tidy up. Right, this one. Shower. I've never done one of these before. So I've just spent the last 10 minutes looking through the instructions, just seeing what's what. So let me spin it around and I'll show you. Right, so it's a hands grower. But it's a all singing, all dancing shower. Basically, this is going to sit in the wall. Let me just find. Uh, I can't find a picture of it, but so I found this one on the internet. This is exactly the front of the shower where it's going to be. But how good does that look once it's inset into the wall? It's going to look spot on. So this is going to be the front of the shower, basically. So you've got all these ports coming out of it, all these coming out the top of it. You've got a rainfall head with an eye box. So basically you've got to sink that into the wall, then the, eye, then the shower head fixes onto it. This has got to be sunk into the wall to the depth, to here, to this line here. You've got a little bit of movement on it. And then, look, flow and returns connected, uh, hot and cold's connecting in the bottom. And then you've got all these different ports off the top. So I'm trying to work out, obviously two of them are going to feed the, um, Two of them are going to feed the head. One of them is going to feed the body shower, the body jets. But I'm not sure which. That has got to go on to one of them. One of them three. But we'll have a look. We've got a box of bits there as well. So that shower is going to fit here. And the head's going up here. So we've got to get the chipping out to move these timbers. So that it can be, we can basically fit it into here, bolt it in and then work from that to what we've got but yeah it's a big old uh, big old beast right so after scratching my head a little bit with this we have basically worked out what's what which is fair enough so yeah as you said hot and colds in the bottom and then off the top of here, you've got three, you've got, these are capped off, but you've got three different ports for the head. So you've got um, one like um, rainfall, intense rain, I think it's rainfall, intense rainfall, and something else that's in the instructions somewhere. Dig it out, so I can tell you. Yeah, there you go. So you've got power rain, intense power rain and rain stream. So one is power rain, two intense power rain, three is rain stream. So they go at three different points into the eye box. One, two, three, and then they can alter what intensity they want the massive, huge satellite dish shower head coming down. So, but we've also just worked out the stood working here to fit this eye box, this box in. So basically that's going to sit, give or take, there. We've worked out for the, for the finish wall. And then above we've got to fit the eye box and the rainfall shower there. So yeah, so it's worth taking an hour or so just to um, go over all this sort of stuff. When you've got a box like that full of stuff and greet it with that, your arse goes a little bit, but we'll uh, get basically get that mounted in now and work back from there. Right, because I hadn't seen that shower before, um, now we know where it's gonna sit in that wall. I better go and get some bits to get it connected up with mail line to coppers, fittings and stuff like that. So we shall shoot off now down to Plum Centre, grab some bits and a coffee.
Right, so that's the um, that's the actual main body of the shower in place. So what we've got to do now is where these are, drill through here, and then these three are coming up, and they're going up to that head, that eye box at the top. But um, yeah, so these two will probably come straight up. I'll try and pull bend that, hopefully try and miss that. So we've got the mail line to coppers fitted into the eye box. So we've now got to go and offer the eye box up to the centre of there. So roughly around there, we're going to have to remove a bit of that stud in just to get it centred because it's just a few mil off. But if we can get that centred up on there, just chibble a bit out of there. It's come on a little bit since last time we was here. Got the bifolds in. It's probably been done. Okay, so the eye box is in. The eye box is in, fitted. Tells you to have a minimum 150 to a capped vent on the top, or capped, capped bit on the top. And I've come off here with a pool bend. I put a couple around because I just want it flowing into it rather than elbows. So we'll pull bend off here, come down, and we'll connect into the, the main unit next, um, and then get your flow uh, hot and cold into the bottom here. But yeah, it's all it's all in line now, which is what we wanted. And uh, and we'll go from there. More progress is being made. So the eye box is in. The valve's in, so we're getting rear around. We've got the old screw through the studs. So we're connected on there, and we've got the pipe work going up to the eye box now. So I've pulled the bends because I just prefer that to having elbows when you're coming off the off the main shower valve. It's a monster of a thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's like a real clear black glass front on it. So. Right, so we'll come off the hot and colds now and connect them into the feeds. Right, so we've got the hot and colds in the bottom now and the valves all in and the eye box is piped up. So it's been a bit of a pain, but taking your time reading through the instructions of something you've not done before is always worth it. Because when you've got boxes like this, full of loads of bits you've got to make sure everything is bang on right so i think that is right that's that shower in um took a while to get it sort of um right and working out what's got to go and feed what and and stuff like that but it's always worth taking your time sitting there get laying it all out looking at it because there's nothing worse than putting it all in and going oh, bollocks, i haven't put that bit in or set too far off the wall or too shallow into the wall so yeah um right Hit like button, hit the subscribe button, and we're done. See you next time.